You know when you highly anticipate a game for Christmas and you just can't wait to get it? And, you know, you've, you know, you've heard so much about the game and you haven't actually seen footage of it and you finally get that game and then it turns out to be really, really bad. Well, that's the case with this game right here. This is Super Godzilla on the Super Nintendo. I am a big fan of the Godzilla movies, and I absolutely love Godzilla. Um, no homo. <laughs> um, Godzilla played a part in my childhood, a pretty big part, actually. I had Godzilla's Revenge as a kid, right? And, you know... Yes, I actually liked it as a kid. I don't now, so don't worry. Um, yeah, and I, I heard about this game, and I was like, I want this game. I want this game so bad. It's a Godzilla game. I love Godzilla. So, you know, as a Godzilla fan, you want games that inherit his namesake, right? This game, uh, take a look at it. What do you see? I don't know about you, but I see checkers. Does this look like fun to you, or what? I don't know about you, but it doesn't to me. Uh, I wish I could do editing on my iPad, but I can't. Oh, here's a real beef I got with this game. Why does Godzilla get hurt every time he crumbles a building? I, 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 does that even remotely make sense, or... Doesn't Godzilla crumble buildings in the movies all the time? So if the movies follow the logic of this game, wouldn't that kill Godzilla by the time, oh, I don't know, the second movie was released or something? I mean, that is boulder gash right there. That is bullshot so, okay? And what is this? This energy garbage. Why is it so slow? This entire game is so slow. Look at this. Ugh. And Godzilla's being... The plot is that Godzilla's being controlled by these military people that you could care less about. Okay? And the plot is that the aliens are taking over the world and they're using past, past Godzilla monsters that you might recognize from the movie or may not. Might recognize from the movies or may not. Um, and, uh, you know, the plot is that Godzilla's got to save their arses, and, you know, you know, typical Japanese monster movie, aliens taking over the world stuff, you know, kind of like the movies. And you see that pink dot over there? That's, that is the enemy monster. And why is the military attacking me? Oh my god, they have the brain, they have the sticking brains of sewage, all right? Oh my god, seriously, look, the military has their tanks out there, and yet they're using me as a tank, okay? I don't understand. I don't get it. Tell me the relevance, please. And having this as your gameplay style isn't very good. A lot of people refer to this as... A lot of people like to refer to this as a fighting game. It, when in fact it's not. It's more along the lines of an RPG. Yes, a boring RPG at that. Okay. Oh no, I don't want to smash a building. This is pretty much the gist of the walk around mode here. You go around boringly, very, very slowly, as if you're playing stinking checkers. And you're just going after the enemy monster. And this game is good, almost put me to sleep. And your allies give you the most useless information. God. Alright. Okay, here's King Ghidorah. I'm only gonna film me fighting King Ghidorah. Now, guess what? Let me talk! Stupid people. Alright. You can only punch him. And after you punch him, you unlock a special move right here. And every time you use a special move, this animation, an animation like this comes up. And while it's pretty cool, it's time, it, 
it's get pretty uh, repetitive after a while, and you can't skip it. Yes, you heard me correctly. You cannot skip these totally repetitive animations, which seem cool at first. And I gotta say, the graphics are pretty cool for Super Nintendo. I actually really like the graphics in this game. It's just so such a shame that the game isn't that good. In terms of moves, special moves that is, Godzilla has the famous Atomic Breath. There are two versions of it, a strong version and a weaker version. All right? I think there are two moves that have a strong and weaker version of um, each other. And then there's the Tail Whip, which I could care less about, and I keep getting it. It seems to be the most common move in this game. Alright. And then there's the Ram here. No, not the animal, the attack. Now, that looked more like a Tackle than a Ram. I think the Ram is a bit stronger than the Tackle. Alright, and there's also a random attack right here. And it's another sticking tail whip. Uh, seriously, I wish you could skip these animations. I wish I could tell you you could skip the animations, but you cannot. <sighs> yeah. Like I said, the game has good graphics. The game has... The music, however, is a different story. The music sounds like farting. I'm not even joking. I mean, I'd let you hear the music, but... You wouldn't want to. And the sound effects, like Godzilla's roar and everything, is pretty good. Even the punches sound like they're from the movie. Um, and, uh, you know, graphics and sound effects. That's pretty much all I can say that's good about this game. But you know what? The graphics are in the pointless animations. Well, not pointless, but repetitive. And, you know... Okay, so, yeah. King Ghidorah is dead, and unfortunately, the game doesn't end here. That'd be a waste of money if it did, actually. Not that this game isn't already a waste of money, but, you know. You get your scoreboard. Okay, what is this crap? What? Why do I need a scoreboard in a Godzilla game? Seriously, why? I sound like Wiz War 100, don't I? Okay, yeah, beam him up and then... It's a flying uh, What's this? What's that UFO? Blah, 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 blah. And I can tell you right now that about the only thing that makes this game worth it is its namesake, Super Godzilla. Near the end of the game, Godzilla becomes this... this... Space Godzilla-like thing, and uh, basically he's supposed to be unstoppable, I guess. And Bagon. Bagon is an exclusive monster to this game. He was in another Godzilla game after this, and I'm not really sure. I think he might have been cancelled, though. Um, yeah, <laughs> that's pretty much... That is Super Godzilla on the Super Nintendo. Um, do I recommend it? No. Is playing it a good aid? No, not really. There are pretty much better Godzilla games out there. There's Godzilla Domination, Godzilla Save the Earth, Godzilla Destroy All Monsters Melee, Godzilla Unleashed. Um, there never was a good 2D Super Nintendo Nintendo Entertainment System Godzilla game, unfortunately. There was, the, there was one that came out in Japan, but only in Japan. Ah, the, I highly anticipated this game. Too bad, you know. This game gets, uh, let's say, a 7 out of 10. Just because, you know, the music and sound of the sound effects and the graphics, but uh, the gameplay and the rest of the game, uh-uh, no way. Avoid, avoid, avoid.